Greetings, my demonic allies, it's Remus here bringing you the champion spotlight for Aatrox. He was finally added on the PB, and we're going to take the full spotlight look of this guy. So, I'm Aatrox. I'm a transcendental being trapped inside cutlery. What you do? Alright, let's first take a quick look at his emotes and I'm going to show you the skins and specials as well and then talk about the abilities, you can see the minute where the abilities begin and there's a new RP giveaway as well, so leave a like, comment, subscribe and give me your soul if you want to participate. Alright, here are all of his skins. And the splash arts. And be sure to check out more legends if you want to improve at the game and get some nice videos and helpful tips. Now for his abilities, and apparently they added something new. They are smaller and easier to read unless you press shift to see all the details, but I think you should always read all the details because there are things that don't show up if you don't hold shift. They just change this. So his passive has a 25 second cooldown and when that cooldown goes off, his next attack has a higher range and deals 60% of the target's max health as physical damage and it's capped to monsters and he flings mutilator for 3 seconds. Cooldown is reduced by 2 seconds when Adrox casts a spell or hits a champion with the blade of the dark in sword. Alright, and that mutilator debuff that it gives reduces all healing and shielding on the target by 40%, which is pretty damn good. So, it looks like that, and you can see it goes on a cooldown, and if you hit, you reduce the cooldown a bit. What you've just seen was the Q, that's pretty similar to Riven's Q, but a bit more badass and edgy, because it also deals bonus stuff if you hit them on the edge. Not even lying. So it's called Darkened Sword, and Aatrox slams his greatsword down, dealing physical damage, and the sword may be recasted two additional times, each one with increased damage. And they all have different shapes, so the first one is always the same, but all three have a different shape from each other. Each strike can hit with the blade, briefly knocking enemies up and dealing more damage. So if you hit in the red area, you knock them up and deal a bit more damage than if you hit them outside of the area. And the third one is the old Q. If you have more details, it deals 100% damage to minions. Well, what does that mean? I mean, of course it deals 100% damage to minions. <laughs> what, you expect it? Oh, maybe it increases if you put more points into it. Nope, I don't know. I mean, 100% dam more damage, 100% less damage. I mean, if it deals 100% damage to minions, it, it means it deals the same amount of damage to minions as it deals to champions. Oh well, and deals an additional 20% of your attack damage to monsters and doubles knock-up duration. So let's, ju let's just see what that means. So if I hit, hit here, 128. And if I come and hit a minion with the edge, let's just auto-refresh it a bit. It's more. So, yeah, something's back there. 100% more damage to the minions. Oh well. Maybe I'm retarded, but I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, so that's for his Q, and like I said, if you hit it outside, it deals less damage. If you hit it inside, it deals more damage. And knocks up. Alright, his W is pretty damn cool, straight out of Doom. Infernal Chains. Smashes the ground, dealing physical damage to the first enemy hit and slowing by 25% for 1.5 seconds. Champions or large monsters have 1.5 seconds to leave that area, or they are direct and damage again. It doesn't say how much, though. Maybe it's the same damage, even if I press shift it doesn't do anything. So, I cast it there, that guy takes damage, and is then pulled for the same amount of damage. And notice, it's the first one that hits, you can just cast it on the ground. So if you had it at that, you miss it. So it's a skill shot! You can use it on more than just champions. Alright. His E has a passive, heals for quite a lot of physical damage he deals, increased by AD, and the active is that you launch, briefly getting attack damage, and he has two charges. How much attack damage? Apparently a bit. 25. Well, why doesn't it say if I press shift? 
I think they haven't added the detailed ones apart from the Q yet. See? And you can use it two times. Well, I'm max stuff here. And you can probably also use it over walls. Yep, over the small walls you can definitely use it. And there's another trick. You can combine it with your Q. So, say you want to use both. Use this, and then you dash if you want to go further. So, if you want to bam, hit them with the edge, you can do that. Or the other way around. And the best ability on the world is the World Ender, which also doesn't do anything if I press Shift. <laughs> so, he reveals his true demonic form for 12 seconds, fearing nearby minions and gaining increased movement speed for the first one second, and when not in combat with champions or turrets. Increased attack damage, still doesn't say how much. A blood well that steadily stores health, allowing him to revive if he takes lethal damage. So, let's use it here to fear those guys. Hello, my dear minions. See, they run away in fear, you gain some movement speed, you feel that thing over there. And if I go and die right now, I'm going to revive, I'm going to show you. But let's first turn back and yeah, use some abilities like here as well. And yeah, you can use this on minions, but you only do damage to them, you cannot activate it. Now let me show you what happens if you die while inside it. Um, do they please? I don't think I'm gonna die on those. <laughs> Come on. Okay, right, there you go, you have the resurrection. And nothing can kill me apart from the Sturets if you stay here too long. Game announcer on kill champion target, yes. Alright, back in black. Now, that's pretty much the basic of this guy. Now let's see what happens when you rank up the abilities and the build. Though, I don't like that you don't have all the detailed stats, so we're going to check. Let's first max out this. It doesn't even say how much it increases when you rank it up, only decreases the cooldown and says it increases the movement speed, so let's see. Alright, it's plus 29 now. Let's rank it up a bit. Hmm, apparently it remains the same. Let's see if I need to recast it to add the effects. So, yep, still plus 29, so that's the damage you take from it apparently. Maybe it increases the more AD you have, the more it increases as well. We'll see. Next, the queuing reduces the cooldown, increases the damage and the AD ratio, up to that. His W reduces the cooldown, increases the damage and the movement slow, up to that. And his E reduces the cooldown, the recharge time, healing and the bonus damage. 20% healing, that's quite strong. Alright, and yeah, they look the same, but they're better. Alright, now let's check the build. Um, it's still a bruiserish build, we don't need those cookies right now. And yeah, you go with armor if you're versus AD on top and Mercury instead, if you're versus AP probably. Black Cleaver also works pretty damn well. They also recommend this one, increases your healing and works for AoE too, so why not? And then Sterok, Guardian, why not? <laughs> you also have a Guardian from your ultimate, so why not have two Guardians? You never know. And yeah, let's say Mouth Marmor, just let's see how strong he is right now at the DPS. And let's also cancel this for now. Let's try a normal... Uh, huh, quite a lot of damage. Let's try a normal AoE attack over here on four guys. Alright, let's see how much damage we have. One, two, three. The leap doesn't do damage, but... <laughs> yep, it's pretty damn strong. That healing is good as well. Huh. The thing is, you don't build attack speed on him, so you won't heal that much. But... <laughs> he's good. Let's see what happens if she tries to run from the chains. I told you to run from the chains. No, don't shoot me in the head. Run from the chains, please. Man, this misfortune is stupid. <laughs> you don't know how to run from some chains? Come on. Don't just stand there. Alright. There is no good discussion with bots. So let's exterminate her. Alright. Let's try versus a real enemy. 
<laughs> I missed that. You didn't see it. Uh, oh yeah, and the passive we need to check it as well. Nice. Let's see what it does at max. So it's still the same. 50 range and 60% of the max cell does damage. And mutilation for 3. So that remains the same. I really like that mutilation buff. Yeah, now I have two guardians. <laughs> Deal with that, boys. And now you have too much health. Let's see if his passive... Oh, hi! Works in the fountain. Maybe you'll run from that, oh. This healing is strong as well, and look at this AoE. Really be good for clearing. Um, you just gonna stand there? Then you might have range. Yep, she's just gonna stand there, afraid. Let's see if we revive. Oh shit. Um. Alright, let's see. Nope, still doesn't work here apparently. I don't know why, but yeah, it doesn't work there. Quite a lot. Alright, let's. One last thing, let's check how long this dash can go. Hmm, you can even go here. Alright, let's do the auto refresh cooldowns. Yep, you can go around many, many places. That's nice. You can also deal surprise attack if you just. You know, you charge it and then you dash. <laughs> That's gonna be a nice attack, see? And of course, you can dash with your third Q as well. Ah, not that much. I don't think you can even dash over... Let's see if you can dash... Nope, you can't even dash over small walls with it. And you can see the indicators. Nah, it is a small range. It barely dashes, just lungs a bit forward. So it's not longer the dash Q that you had before, it's a more of an AoE Q ability. Though he looks nice. And yeah, that's it for him. Let me know what you think. I believe he's pretty damn awesome. Look at that boost, you even fear those. <laughs> I told you he will be able to fly, so I was almost right about everything. I said he's gonna have a lot of AoE based on that cinematic and that he's going to be able to fly and turn bigger. I was right about that, the only thing I wasn't right about is that I said his blade will be able to throw it and get it back to yourself. That's not in, but you sometimes run with it on your back. And it pumps with the heart on it. Alright, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, leave a like whatever I you, and check out my other videos as well, and the comparison that's gonna come soon. Alright, bye bye.